Have you ever found yourself questioning why, despite your ongoing efforts, the relationships you seek seem to perpetually never arrive, unable to dive into the depths you long for? Imagine if the key to unlocking the door to richer and more authentic interactions could be found in the teachings of an ancient philosophy forged 2,000 years ago. I'm talking about Stoicism, a philosophical heritage of invaluable worth, which has the potential to transform our relationships, enrich our mutual understanding, and strengthen our bonds with others. Consider the possibility of integrating into your life principles that guided great leaders and intellectuals throughout history. It's time to discover how to be more generous in our reciprocity, deeper in our empathy, and more conscious in our way of perceiving and reacting to the complexities of the world around us. In an era characterized by misunderstandings and disagreements, Stoicism emerges as an oasis of clarity and serenity. If your goal is to enrich workplace interactions, intensify intimacy with your partner, or forge friendships of undeniable value, Venturing into the Stoic universe and applying its principles to human dynamics offers an arsenal of insightful techniques and transformative discoveries. So, my friends, my name is Hugo Rodrigo. I ask you to subscribe and let's get started. Principle 1. Building Strong Relationships Through Stoic Teachings In the quiet dawn of Stoic thought, ancient wisdom breathes life into the complexities of modern relationships. Like a beacon in the fog, Stoicism guides us through stormy seas, illuminating the path to building solid relationships founded on the cornerstone of self-acceptance and mutual respect. On this journey, we explore the first vital principle to strengthen our human connections, the importance of understanding and accepting what is beyond our control, while actively endeavoring to cultivate our inner garden. The story begins on a windy afternoon where two old friends, philosophers from different times, meet under the welcoming shade of an olive tree. One of them, a follower of the modern school of thought, and the other, a stoic from the past, whose words still resonate with timeless wisdom. They discuss the nature of human relationships, a theme as old as humanity itself. Do you see, begins the stoic, that the core of our happiness and our relationships lies in our mastery over our thoughts and actions? Many seek external peace, forgetting that it is born within. The modern friend nods, pondering the words. But how do we apply this wisdom to building strong relationships? The dynamics of relationships seem so complex these days. The Stoic smiles patiently. It is not the complexity of relationships that has changed but our perception of them. In ancient times, just as today, the essence of a strong relationship resides in the acceptance of imperfections, both our own and those of others. We must cultivate the virtue of self-acceptance, recognizing our own flaws and limitations while extending this understanding to those around us. I understand, reflects the friend. It's as if by accepting ourselves and others as we are, we create fertile soil for mutual respect and trust to grow. Exactly, agrees the Stoic. And do not forget that the true strength of a relationship is not revealed in the absence of challenges, but in how we navigate them together. Respect and understanding are the oars that help us cross turbulent waters. As the conversation flows, both contemplate historical and contemporary examples of individuals who have lived these principles. They speak of Marcus Aurelius, whose meditations still offer advice on virtue and self-reflection, of modern figures like Viktor Frankl, who found meaning in adversity, and of poets like Rumi, whose words transcend time, reminding us of the beauty of human connection. The lesson that emerges from this dialogue is clear and profound. To build strong relationships, we must first strengthen the relationship we have with ourselves. Self-acceptance and mutual respect are not just gifts we offer ourselves and others, but also the foundations upon which lasting relationships are built. Thus, as the sun sets, painting the sky with shades of orange and pink, the friends say goodbye, each taking with them a renewed understanding that by applying the teachings of Stoicism in our lives, we can not only navigate the complexities of modern relationships, but also find safe harbors of trust and genuine connection. And on this journey, we discover that the boundaries we face, whether internal or external, are not obstacles, 
but opportunities to grow together, steadfast in the storm, anchored by the stoic principle of building strong relationships through the timeless wisdom of self-knowledge and compassion. Principle 2. Attitudes for maintaining a healthy and mutual relationship amidst chaos. In a world where chaos seems to be the only constant, stoic wisdom emerges as a beacon of serenity, guiding us through life's storms with dignity and balance. The art of maintaining a healthy and mutual relationship amidst this chaos is a journey that demands more than simply navigating through turbulent waders. It requires use to become masters of our own ships, capable of maintaining calm even when waves threaten to engulf us. This stoic principle teaches us not just to survive, but to thrive in adversity, strengthening our relationships through understanding, respect, and joint action. Imagine yourself in an ancient agora, where philosophers from past eras share their thoughts under the watchful gaze of statues that have witnessed centuries of human evolution. Among them, Seneca, who reminds us, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it is because we do not dare that they are difficult. This thought resonates through the ages, echoing the idea that facing the chaos in our relationships with courage and serenity is not only possible but essential. In an imaginary dialogue, we might hear Epictetus, with his calm yet assertive voice, instructing us, it is not events themselves that disturb us, but our opinions about them. He teaches us that, even in the midst of emotional turmoil, we have the capacity to choose our response. In a relationship, this manifests in how we choose to communicate our needs and frustrations, not with accusations or expectations, but with understanding and openness to dialogue. Now bring this conversation to the present, where a modern couple faces the daily challenges brought by stress, uncertainty, and the demands of everyday life. Stoic wisdom offers us a path. Instead of allowing external chaos to infiltrate their relationship, they choose to support each other, practicing calm and rational communication. In moments of disagreement, they remember the words of Marcus Aurelius, accept what is given to you, even if it seems insufficient, and work with it until the end. Beyond philosophers, other great thinkers and artists throughout history have shown us the power of resilience and mutual understanding. And what of poets, like Rumi, whose words cross the veil of time to remind us, love is the bridge between you and everything. This perspective transforms every challenge into an opportunity to deepen the connection, to build a bridge of understanding over the tumultuous river of chaos. In a relationship, this principle is manifested through small acts of kindness, active listening and mutual support, reminding us that while each person must walk their own journey, no one needs to walk alone. Together, we learn that chaos is not an enemy to be feared, but a master that, if properly understood, teaches us to cherish calm, resilience, and the beauty of human relationships. Thus, as we follow this stoic principle, we are reminded that even in the most chaotic moments we can find serenity and mutual strength, building relationships not just to survive life's storms but to confidently navigate towards more peaceful and promising horizons. Principle 3. How to Wisely Manage Emotions Within Relationships in a world where emotional storms often challenge the safe harbor of our relationships, Stoic teachings offer a beacon of wisdom. In this narrative, we explore the third vital principle for maintaining healthy relationships, the art of wisely managing emotions within relationships. Imagine, if you will, the quietude of an ancient library, its walls echoing the thoughts of philosophers from past eras. It is here that our journey begins with an imaginary dialogue between brilliant minds, each contributing their essence to unravel the mystery of human emotions. The first step to wisdom, Aristotle would begin, is the recognition that our emotions can be both our greatest challenge and our greatest strength. His voice resonates through the hall, an invitation to explore the depths of our own psyche. Seneca, with his characteristic serenity, would add, we must not suppress or deny our emotions, but rather understand them. True strength lies in the ability to face our feelings, analyze them rationally, and act according to reason, not impulse. And then, in a quiet corner, we would hear Viktor Frankl, a sage of psychiatry, recalling his discovery that 
Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. These dialogues, though fictional, reveal a universal truth. Understanding and managing our emotions is fundamental to cultivating healthy and lasting relationships. This stoic principle challenges us not just to recognize our emotions, but also to express them constructively. Imagine now a couple facing a disagreement, where in the heat of the moment sharp words threaten to sever the ties that bind them. It is here that the principle becomes practical. It seems we are both frustrated, one of them might say, taking a moment to breathe deeply and find calm in the storm. Let's try to understand what each of us is feeling. This simple act of recognition and validation can transform a conflict into an opportunity for mutual growth. Instead of allowing emotions to take the helm and drive us onto the rocks of discord, we choose to navigate wisely, guided by reason and a genuine desire to understand one another. Therefore, Stoicism does not teach us to suppress our emotions, but to navigate them with discernment, recognizing, understanding, and expressing our feelings constructively are essential skills for strengthening our relationships, allowing us to grow together, even in the face of adversity. On this journey through stoic understanding of emotions, we are reminded of the importance of active listening and validating the emotions of others, avoiding misunderstandings and manipulations. By embracing this principle, we not only improve our relationships, but also cultivate an inner garden of peace and wisdom, a safe haven against the storms of the outside world. And so, as we return to the quietude of the ancient library, we understand that although the authors of these dialogues have returned to the shelves, their words remain alive in us, echoing through time, guiding us in the art of wisely managing emotions within relationships. This is the Stoic legacy, a gift that transcends ages, illuminating the path to a life of deeper and more meaningful connections. Principle 4. Stoic Teachings to Improve Communication and Trust Within a Relationship In the serene dawn of understanding, where the light of wisdom begins to dispel the shadows of ignorance, we find the essence of Stoic teachings on communication and trust within relationships. This narrative is an invitation to contemplate the fourth principle, a path through which the ancient teachings of Stoicism illuminate the art of authentic communication and deep trust. Imagine, for a moment, an ancient agora, pulsating with the life of discussion and debate. It is here that our guides, the Stoic philosophers, teach us through their example. Speech is the expression of thought, Zenon of Sidium, the founder of Stoicism, would say. And clarity in speech reflects clarity of thought. In his shadow, each one bringing to light the importance of honesty, clarity, and authenticity in communication. Seneca, with his eloquence, would add, It is not enough for the message to be clear. The listener must be prepared to receive it. And this requires a foundation of trust and mutual respect. Through these words, we are reminded that effective communication is two-way, not just in the clear transmission of our own thoughts and feelings, but also in the open and understanding reception of the other's words. In this imaginary dialogue, Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor would reflect on his own experience. At the heart of the empire, where words can build and destroy worlds, I learned that honesty is the cornerstone of leadership and lasting relationships. Without it, trust slips away like sand through the fingers. And thus, transported through time, we find echoes of these teachings in the words of contemporary figures. Carl Rogers, a renowned psychologist, would speak of the importance of active listening and empathy. Truly understanding another human being is almost like a dance, a fluid give and take that builds bridges of genuine connection. Imagine now, a modern couple facing the challenges of communication in their relationship. They remember that to be heard, they must first listen. In a moment of tension, one of them takes a deep breath and says, I want to understand what you're feeling. Can you explain more? This simple act of making room for dialogue, based on the stoic principles of clarity and honesty, can transform a conflict into an opportunity to deepen trust and understanding. This is the heart of the fourth principle. 
Open and honest communication is the backbone of any healthy relationship. By practicing clarity, honesty, and authenticity in our daily interactions, we create an environment where trust flourishes. In this sacred space, all involved feel valued, heard, and understood. And so, as we bid farewell to the Agora and return to the present, we carry with us the timeless wisdom of Stoicism. In the teachings of Zeno, Seneca, and Marcus Aurelius, we find the keys to unlock genuine communication and unwavering trust in our relationships. It is a journey that challenges us to be true to ourselves and to others, strengthening the bonds that unite us through honesty, clarity, and authenticity. This is the Stoic legacy, a gift not only to our relationships, but to our collective soul, navigating through the complexity of human existence with courage, wisdom, and love. Principle 5. Cultivating Deeper Connections for Meaningful Relationships In a world saturated with superficial interactions and ephemeral connections, the longing for meaningful and deep relationships echoes in the hearts and minds of many. Drawing inspiration from Stoic teachings, we explore the fifth principle, the importance of cultivating deep connections to build meaningful relationships. This journey, interwoven with dialogues and reflections, invites the reader to dive into the essence of true human connection. Imagine a serene afternoon in a peaceful garden where the whisper of the leaves in the wind carries with it the promise of wisdom and introspection. Here, the shade of an ancient plane tree witnesses the meeting of curious minds, seeking to understand the mysteries of human connection. Among them, figures from the past and present share their perspectives, weaving a dialogue that transcends time. The foundation of every meaningful relationship, Epictetus would begin, lies in the realization that true happiness is an internal state not something that can be found in possessions or external approvals. His voice, firm and serene, sets the tone for the discussion, emphasizing the search for a connection that complements, not defines our being. Seneca, with his characteristic eloquence, would add, And how do we achieve this deep connection? Through conscious vulnerability, opening our hearts and minds to the other, sharing our joys, fears, and hopes without fear of judgment. His speech distills the essence of the principle, the importance of being genuine and open, allowing relationships to flourish in the fertile soil of understanding and acceptance. Carl Jung, an imaginary guest at this meeting, would bring a psychological perspective. The deepest connections occur when we recognize and accept each other's shadows, integrating them into the light of consciousness. This creates a soul union that transcends the superficialities of everyday existence. As the dialogue unfolds, an ancient poet, perhaps, with his transcendental wisdom, would elevate the conversation. Beyond ideas of right and wrong, there is a field. I'll meet you there. His poetry captures the essence of empathy and mutual support, crucial elements for building lasting and meaningful relationships. This exchange of ideas, although fictional, distills the essence of what it means to cultivate deep connections. Through vulnerability, empathy, and mutual support, we can create bonds that enrich our existence, turning the ordinary into the extraordinary. And so, as the sun sets, bathing the garden in golden hues, the participants of this imaginary meeting part ways, carrying with them the understanding that by applying stoic principles in our lives, we can find the key to truly meaningful relationships. Relationships that elevate us, transform us, and allow us to navigate life's storms anchored in the certainty that, at its core, true connection lies in the genuine sharing of our most authentic selves. This is the Stoic Legacy, a call to rediscover the lost art of deep human connection, a light that shines brightly in the darkness, guiding us back to the heart of what truly matters. My name is Hugo, and this was my contribution. If this content has helped you in any way, then don't waste time. Subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and if you have something to share with us, write your opinion in the comments. And if you have nothing to write, simply say I am here. See you next time.